Can you launch a rocket and land it on its legs? Is that even possible? The SpaceX Falcon 9 will try and show off its gams over the weekend when it tries to land on its return mission from delivering supplies to the International Space Station. This is a far out idea. Corey Powell, editor at large, Discover Magazine, here to talk about it. Good morning, Good morning. to you. I guess we're about to find out wh whether this thing works or not. The big idea is what, Corey? The big idea is making space travel and space transportation drastically, drastically cheaper. Uh, right now, you launch a rocket, you've built you know, $50 million, $100 million worth of hardware in that rocket, you launch it and you throw it away. And that's part of why it's so expensive getting into space. Uh, if you could make a rocket that's completely reusable, you could bring down the cost of space travel wow, drastically for tourism, for satellites, for anything. And you think about the private sector, too, that's getting more and more involved in this. Absolutely. That'd be a giant step forward, really, for them. There's a challenge here, clearly. What is it? Well, the challenge is l landing is the hardest part of the, of the whole process. So bringing that rocket back down intact, undamaged, so that you can refurbish it quickly and send it back up again, and it's still safe and it's still reliable, it's a very, very hard thing to do. It was, uh, SpaceX has done great work. SpaceX has done great work. They already have, they have the lowest launch costs in the industry already. Really? In, in principle, if they, can make, if they can pull this off and make a fully reusable rocket, Let's say they can make launching a thousand times cheaper than it is now. It's not a little change, it's a drastic change. If that's the case then, we're going to see the technology for, for space explode. But how does SpaceX plan to do this? Well, so, I mean, what you see with the, the, the legs on that rocket, uh, so that's a, that's a crucial part of the technology. Uh, but that's really only part of it. You need to be able to essentially turn that rocket, you know, the rocket's going up with all that momentum. You need to turn it around, bring it back down, slow it down, land it on legs, and land it softly enough that everything is, everything is intact, it's easy to repair, and you can launch again just maybe even a few days mm, later. Wow. So on Sunday then, just to be clear on this, it will launch from Florida? Um, it's, Cape Canaveral? Uh, no, it's launching from... Uh, I, 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 I was, I, I've got Cape Canaveral okay, right okay. here. All right, then right, with 8,000 pounds of supplies to go to the yes, International Space Station. What's intriguing about that is it's actually bringing something similar to the <laughs> yes. ISS. It's, yeah, this is an interesting mission. So here's this rocket that has legs. Part of the cargo inside is a second, very different kind of pair of legs. Robot legs that they're going to attach to a robot torso aboard the space station and actually have a, a walking robot on the space oh, station, the idea that, that can phenomenal. eventually do outdoor walks. But just to finish and complete the launch in the mission on Sunday, it will then come back to Earth, and we will find out on Sunday whether or not it works. Right, so, the, so this, this is a test mission. The first stage only is going to have those legs. It goes up, they're going to bring it down, and this time they're bringing it down over water. It's probably going to crash land. Mm -hmm. They're not planning on this one to be successful. This is to prove that they can deploy the legs. If this works, then the next one, SpaceX has been very, very methodical. First they did tests, now they're doing a test over water, then they're going to do a test over land, then if this works, they're going to make a reusable second stage, make the whole thing reusable. They're really, really thinking this through, and that's what makes me, gives Thank me a lot of confidence. It. They can do it? I think they can do it. Let's and see. if they do it, the American space industry is suddenly going to be the leader in the world. You're right about that. Thank yeah. you, Corey. Enjoy the weekend. Thank Corey you. Corey Powell too. here.